Australia were crowned winners of the World Test Championship after a 209 win against India at the Oval today. India needed 280 runs to chase at the beginning of the day with 7 wickets in hand. Ajinkya Rahane and Virat Kohli were at the crease and the Indians were hopeful that these two can stitch a good partnership and help India chase down the mammoth 444 run target. But half an hour into the day's play, Scott Boland got Virat Kohli and Ravindra Jadeja out in the same over to derail India's hopes. Ajinkya Rahane and Srikar Bharat managed to stitch up a partnership but Ajinkya Rahane soon was dismissed in a similar way to that of Kohli. Shardul Thakur, who had scored a half century in the first innings, could not triple the scores as he was dismissed for a four-ball duck LBW to Nathan Lyon. Then, it was just a procession of wickets as Australia bundled out the opposition within the first session of the day's play. Australia are five-time winners of the ODI World Cup, two-time winners of the ODI Champions Trophy and had also added a T20 World Cup to its cabinet in 2021. This was India's second straight loss in the World Test Championship final after they had lost to New Zealand in the previous edition. India have been underperforming in the knockout stages of ICC tournaments for the last 10 years. Their last win came in the finals of the 2013 Champions Trophy under Dhoni's captaincy in England. A lot of people will be discussing about India's performances and their tactics during this World Test Championship final. But losing Bumrah and Rishabh Pant, two of their main match winners to injury just before the World Test Championship final was definitely a thing that they could not compensate. There was also a lot of talk about the selection of Shardul Thakur over Ravi Ashwin before the first day's play. The reasoning given was that the pitch was green and that there were overcast conditions which is why India needed four seam bowling options. India might have fared better if they had gone with the experience of Ravi Chandran Ashwin over Shardul Thakur or Umesh Yadav. Considering that Nathan Lyon picked up four second innings wickets, it makes us wonder the impact Ravi Chandran Ashwin would have had on this test match. Another important point was the failure of the Indian top order, with none of them managing to get even a single half century. Coach Rahul Dravid, while speaking post-match, said that although the performances of the Indian batters today weren't up to their high standards, there was an overall drop in average of all test batters over the last two years and blame should not be given only to the Indian batting unit. Considering that many of the Indian players are on the later side of their 30s, it remains to be seen how many of them will actually be playing in case India makes the World Test Championship final in the 2025 edition. Players like Ajinkya Rahane, Virat Kohli, Rohit Sharma, Chiteshwar Pujara, Mohammad Shami are all towards the end of their careers and India will be looking to bring in youngsters before the beginning of the next cycle to test their skills and make sure that they have a right mix of youth and experience before the next World Test Championship final.